Red Hot Rays look to stay that way in Baltimore, and the game's second batter, C.J. Crone, would make Dylan Bundy pay for a walk to begin the contest. High shot back into center field, turning around and watching that one get out. Jones watches it sail away, and a two-run home run off the bat of C.J. Crone. Rays out in front, two to nothing. He's not really hitting it in the air the way he would like. And, uh, and there's one deep in the air, left center field. I'd say he got that one into the air, and it sails into the left field stands. A two-run homer for Wilson Ramos. It's 4 nothing Rays. He was putting together a power display during batting practice. There's Daniel Robertson. He struck out his first time. Ground ball through the left side. That's a base hit, scoring Gomez. The Rays pick up their fifth run. Robertson driving in this one. Miller leads at third, Wendell at first. 2-1 grounded toward the hole at short and into left field for a base hit. It's going to get another run in. It's coming across home plate is Brad Miller. It's an RBI single for Wilson Ramos. His third run batted in tonight. And the Rays have scored six already. It's 6-0 in the third. And Joey has doubled to left center and he is grounded to third. Liner in the center. That's going to fall for a base hit. And it gets by Jones. Miller's going to score. It's a big question as to whether he could advance beyond third until that ball skipped and the Rays do pick up another run. Right, here comes Smith left hand batter first pitch to him breaking ball slammed to center for another base hit Wendell tears around third Jones unloads to the plate and the throw is cut off Harvey a single for Malik Smith and the Rays have another snowman they lead it eight to two. The Rays beat up Dylan Bundy for eight runs, seven earned on 11 hits. They go on to beat the O's by a final of nine to five. The Rays have now scored 47 runs over their six game win streak, their longest streak since 2014. The O's have lost five in a row, and Chris Archer picks up just his second career win at Camden Yards.